1897, Indianapolis, Indiana. Bill number 246, which looks to redefine pi, you know, 3.14159, yada yada, as 3.2, sits in front of the Indiana State Senate, where everyone is collectively wondering, how the f did this thing get here? It all began three years earlier in 1894 when amateur mathematician Edward J. Goodwin believed he solved the ancient problem of squaring the circle, which was a problem for two reasons. Number one, squaring the circle had been proven impossible by the Lindenman Weierstrass theorem of 1882. Number two, squaring the circle had been proven impossible by the Lindenman Weierstrass theorem of 1882. Nevertheless, Goodwin pushed forward, persuading the new journal American Mathematical Monthly to publish his quote, research, then copywriting his new method, because what else do you do when you solve an ancient geometry problem? You get paid. <laughs> The only place Goodwin didn't want to make royalties from, though, was his home state of Indiana. Well, to clarify, Goodwin wouldn't charge the state to use his method as long as they passed a law establishing the mathematical truth of it. Hence why Bill number 246 was introduced in the House, why it bounced around several committees until, because of course, the Committee on Education sent it to a vote, why the House then passed it unanimously, and a few weeks later, it finally wound up before the Senate, where everyone was collectively wondering, how the f*** did this thing get here? Now, to be fair, it's very likely it would have passed the Senate had it not been for Purdue professor C.A. Waldo, who, while reading about the bill in the papers, freaked the f out and rushed to Indianapolis to school the senators on why Goodwin's method was a hot steaming pile of donkey sh**. Seeing the folly in it now, the Senate spent 30 minutes literally making fun of it before moving to indefinitely postpone a vote on it. Bill number 246 has never been addressed again. Goodwin died five years later in 1902, not a penny richer from squaring the circle. What strange history would you like us to cover next? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to Raider Red's YouTube channel for more stories that don't involve math. This is Winkler. Happy Pi Day.